What's happening? And welcome back to another episode. And today on the podcast, here's the question we're going to kind of like get into and unpack. Why 2x is harder than 10x? This question or this statement is pretty much stemming from the book, 10x is easier than 2x. That's this book here. But we're going to talk more about the 2x today. Here's why. Here's why I'm going to talk about the 2x. I believe I mastered 2x. And and I'm here to kind of give the almost like, ah, it's not worth it. Like, it's okay. Like, like you can get something out of 2x, but usually what you get is being tired. So I'm going to share with you today pretty much why 2x is harder than 10x so that when we think about doing anything, all we think about is 10x. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to the podcast, make sure you subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, wherever it is, just subscribe. Let somebody else know that, look, at the end of the day, we want to 10x our life, our business, and let them know that there's a guy out there named The Healthy Accountant, and he's just, just, just massively looking to help just individuals who are looking for that. Come here. Let's be a community. And that's why I'm here. So let's jump right in. So uh, about 10 years ago, I'm going to share a story with you. About 10 years ago, I started my hmm, healthy accountant journey. And when I say I started a healthy account, it, I wasn't a healthy accountant. I wasn't calling myself the healthy accountant, which I, you know, I don't know, one day it just came to me. Call yourself a healthy accountant. It wasn't, I wasn't any of it. It's just that one day, all of a sudden I says, oh, wow, let me, let me really get into this thing called health. And that's what I did. Um, you know, I was in a network marketing company at the time and the network marketing company, you know, had introduced some new products and we were all opposed to products until the company introduced the products and then we all drank the Kool-Aid. So I drank the Kool-Aid of the company simply because they offered them, but I found something that really got me going. And it was, hey man, health is actually wealth. And when I take care of my health, everything, everything is, everything potentially works out. Everything works out. Yesterday we were talking about faith and fitness and we're talking about how how fitness really is. Fitness is everything because fitness gives you the understanding of what you're able to do. Like when you're not fit, you're not going to be able to do the thing. Just like when you're not fit for being a millionaire, you're not going to be a millionaire. When you're not fit for being a hundred thousandaire, you're not going to be a hundred thousandaire. You actually have to fall into the idea of what that means. So, but a lot of times we go for two X. Someone would say, hey, Jay, you know, I want to, you know, I want to change my life or I want to, you know, get better with my money. Let me go back to college. That's 2X. That's a 2X mindset. That's a 2X idea because you only, you only can get in, you normally get an incremental result. You don't get a massive result. Someone who goes to college does not make 10X because they went to college. Someone who goes back and get a master's degree does not get 10X because they got a master's degree. They might make double. And this is the mindset that I personally had, you know, in 2014. I didn't know anything about 10X. In fact, I think the book, The 10X Rule was written around 2012. Grant Cardone, Grant Cardone wrote it. I think I had the book as far back as 2014. All I heard was, man, you got to do 10,000 more. That's what I heard. So a lot of the actions that I've been doing over the past 10 years was just doing so much more. But now before I get into all those other stories, I, I want to I want to loop this, finish this story here where, where we're talking about the health because I almost went, I almost went to another path. We're talking about the health. And in the health, what I discovered was when I started was just get started and then do as much as possible you know, run every day instead of three days, right? Instead of running one mile, do three miles. Um, instead of doing 100 push-ups, do 1,000 push-ups or 500 push-ups, right? In, instead of working out, instead of working out three days a week, like most people, work out seven days a week, right? Instead of getting up at six o'clock, get up at four o'clock. Like I did all this. I said, oh, I'm going to just go, oh, like I'm going to push so hard. I have to get it. Now, did I get results? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I got some results pretty fast. And when I say I got some results pretty fast, meaning I went from, I think at the time I was trying to lose weight, which I don't really focus on losing weight, even though, 
Yeah, I don't really focus on losing weight because what I discovered now is you have to lose fat. Say that with me. If you look at your body, it's not the weight. It's the fat that you want to get rid of. So when you see fat, man, I like to get rid of all of the excess fat on my body. But in the 2X mindset, we're thinking lose weight. That's why most people who lose weight gain it back because they never lost the fat. The fat cells stayed where well, when we got to burn off the fat cells. So now I'm more aware of this now. I wasn't aware of this back then. So I lost weight and I lost a good amount. Like I went from like two between 215, 212. I got as far down as about 182, 180, between 182, 185. I can't. I remember one day I got on the scale. I was like, oh, my goodness, this is I've gone too far. <laughs> I literally said I've gone too far. Like, you know. I went to a um I went to a high school reunion. I think it was our 15 year, maybe 15. I can't remember. Was it that was 2014? So that was our 15 year. I went to our no 20, I'm sorry, 15 year. I went to the 15 year. No, that's not 15 years, 89, 99, is 15. I'm sure. Was it 15 year? And People, I mean, some people just say, man, you okay? First people asked me if I was okay because they want to make sure I wasn't sick because because I was I was like high school. I wasn't quite high. I was probably more like beginning of college weight. I was down to almost 180. Think about that. I went from 212, 215. 215 may, may have been a max, but at the time I took the, um, got on the scale, maybe around 212. All the way down to one between 182 and 185. So you see this, whoa, that's a lot. Yes, I looked at some pictures. Now my, my everything was small. My clothes was a little bit bigger. I was like, oh my goodness. Now, then I realized I said, okay, it was what I was doing. I now I technically went 10x. I went 10x. It's just that. I didn't realize what the next 10x was. The next 10x, even though I, I kind of did, I, I gained some muscle, but but really at the end of the day, I went 10x there, but I still it still took me many years to get to the point where now I'm looking back, I'm saying, man, if I would have really focused on really beating the fat, which now I'm, I'm, I'm more cognizant of beating the fat. How do you beat the fat? Well, what do you do in the gym? Like, it's not about doing so many things. It's about doing a few things more or a few things more efficiently, right? Because in the book, 10X is easier than 2X. It's about stripping away. It's about taking away. Instead of doing 20 things, only do one or two things every day or th the max three things you're working on. You know, you're, you know, instead of like having a calendar filled with a bunch of stuff, only work on one thing all or this whole month. So, when I looked at my 2X stats, I was like, dang, you know, it's, I don't want to do, I don't go from 100 to 200,000. I want to go from 100,000 to a million. But here's the thing, to get to a million from 100,000, it's a different mindset. It's a different action. To get to, you know, 3 million from, to get from 300,000 to 3 million, from 500,000 to 5 million, from 1 million to 10 million, it's going to be stripping away something else. You know, it's interesting because this year, 2024, today's October 2nd, and I remember the beginning of the year. Now, when I said I was going to do 500 push ups a day, I used something from my past in order to start doing something. I, I've done that many push-ups. Now, here's what I didn't do. That The year that I did a thousand push-ups, a thousand push-ups, I think it was the first quarter of 2019. I stopped. I stopped doing a thousand push-ups. So this year, I decided to do 500 push-ups every single day for the whole year. I haven't missed, I haven't missed one day. It's October the 2nd. Haven't missed any days. Even when I'm traveling, even when I don't have any time, I've figured out a way to do it. Now, here's what else I've done. Because I said I had to streamline my fitness, at least my physical fitness. I'm not going to do a lot of exercises. Because, because what I realized is, I said, well, if I'm doing that already, that's a big lift. That's going to give a result all in, it, all in and of itself. I'm only going to focus on 
really one body part at the gym. Alex, that's the only, like I don't focus on hardly anything else except my legs. Why? Because as a 50, to be 53 year old this month, your legs is the most important part of your body because without your legs moving forward into your late 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s, it's over. Like you won't be walking, you won't be doing things because your legs are the foundation. So I said, well, you know what? What if I focus? I've only been focusing on my legs. So the 45 minutes to an hour that I'm at the gym, I'm focused more on my legs, even though I, I'm doing a, I'm doing the push-ups in between my exercise. I just don't sit there and try and do all the exercises in a workout. I'm probably doing the max exercises I do in a day is maybe six, but a lot of times it's more like four, four different things, four exercises. Now, here's the thing. Could it be better? Absolutely. My 10x jump from here is really hiring, hiring a personal trainer. Um, that's the 10x jump. Because now I have to get to the point where I don't rely on myself. I'm relying on someone else. So here's the thing. Going 2X is much harder than 10X. Why? Here's why. Because when you think about the goal, the objective, you have an objective to, let's just use money and finances. What is a number that just seems impossible? Like really, really like it'll never happen. That's what, that's, so that, that kind of objective is what, actually is the kind of objective we got to have for a 10x jump. It's got to be like, hmm, I'm going to do 5 million um, in the next year. 5 million may have been a 10-year goal. Then you bring it, I'm going to do that in one year, 5 million. Like, well, you've never made more than, you know, half a million or 700,000 like me. I've never made more than 700 in a year. So it's like, oh, you've never made more than 700, but you want to go to 5 million. Yeah, I do. So how do you do that? All right. <laughs> currently, currently what I'm doing is not going to get me there. So I'm going to break down. I'm going to break down my business. I'm going to break down kind of like how I how I've looked at my 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 activities so that so that I can start stripping away things that I no longer can do. So I'm going to talk about all the things that I've been doing in my business, you know, just kind of over over the years and the things I'm going to have to get rid of. I'm still working out all the things I, I will be doing, which is only a few things. So here's here's the things that I've been doing. I've been doing a podcast right now. Here's the thing. Do I need to keep doing the podcast? It, there's a question mark next to that. So I don't know. Then there's then there's well, I have a tax strategy business um, where I I review tax returns. I do tax returns still. Um, I have help, uh, but I still do them. Like I, I, I'm review, so I'm doing reviewing tax returns. I'm also analyzing tax returns. I'm working with clients on strategy, meeting with clients. Um, there was a there was a pretty long, but then I go shopping. Um, we so I, I, I I cook. I cook. I don't cook as much as I used to, but I do do it, do it some. And then there was a couple of things I had to read, have them all written down. Let me let me open up my notebook really quick. I'm just kind of see. OK. Um, so, yeah, um, social media stuff. Uh, I'm doing some of that, but I need to stop. Well, I'm sorry. That was the surfing. I got to stop surfing. Um, so doing with tax return, reviewing tax returns, reviewing financial st statements, um, doing accounting, I still some time, managing my calendar, setting appointments, updating the system, keeping up with operations, service delivery, all that stuff got to go. Cooking, shopping, taking clothes to the to the cleaners or, or the laundromat, because I don't actually wash my clothes anymore. I actually take it out and have a wash and fold do it for me. It's so much better. Like they wash my clothes. And they fold it so beautiful. I do not have to do any of that. I, but I need to get somebody to just to take it and pick it up. So that's something I have to get rid of. Um, these are things that I, I need to do, but I haven't been doing. So it doesn't really matter about that. I need to uh, lead generation, house cleaning, which we've already sent out. Then there's things that, that I'm doing that I have to keep. Then it's fitness. 
going to the gym, um, prayer, meditation, development of programs, marketing and development, which includes building two specific relationships that can produce, that potentially can produce thousands of clients. Two relationships, that's marketing and development. Book writing, podcast recordings, and doing training and speaking. So that's still too much. So I have to go back to this list and still remove. These are all good things. So so when you're thinking about your when you're thinking about your 10x, your 10x is more than likely only going to be about. It's going to be a few things that you do. Oh, this is scary because as a 2x person, guys, I'm a 2x person. I, I have to be honest about it. I've done 2x. You know, I've done 2x. I've done 2x with just about everything that I've been able to do. Now, here's what I have noticed about 10x and why I know 10x is easier. I remember when I was doing tax returns, um, doing like bookkeeping and accounting, making hundreds of dollars per. I remember now. Anytime I quote like the stuff that I want to do, you know, it's like 20,000, 10,000. So I've, I've made a 10x jump in, uh, in pricing when it comes to the business. And I only want to give quotes. I only want to give a proposal. I want to give my, my proposals mainly to be between 10 and between 10 and 20,000. No, at, at least we give some, you know, at two and 3,000. 4,000, but here's the thing. Those may just, those are just one-offs. We don't even like doing one-offs anymore. So I made a 10X jump there. Now what happens is, and me and my partner was just talking about this. We looked at the numbers. We looked at, we looked at how much harder it would be to hit the numbers that we really want to hit in the model that we were in. Because in the model that we were in, it was really only going to take us 2X. And we said, Wow. Took the weekend. We thought about it. We came back with the same idea. <laughs> well, we have to do one to many instead of one on one. But this is another thing. Like you have to look at you have to look at what you're doing so you can see the opportunity on the inside of it. See, 2x is harder. Right now, you're probably living a 2x life. I, I've been living a 2x life. And be and and I know I, my bank account tells me I'm living a 2x life. You know, my my the the numbers in the business tell me I'm living a two X life, and I'm like, well, why is that? Well, when you look at what you are doing, then you can see, oh, that is why I'm living a two X life. So two X is harder, but ten X is easier. Now, over the next ninety days, we have ninety days left to the end of the year. Here's Here's, here's the goal that I have for myself. And I'm going to say, you should think about this for yourself and see if it resonates. Think about what you would like to accomplish in the next three to five years. Write that down. And then ask yourself, how would it feel if I did that in 90 days? How would it, like, what would change in my life if I did that in 90 days? I'm talking this out as I'm also getting into the mindset because this is where my person will go. How would it feel that in 90 days I reach a five year or a three year objective? That's what we're working towards. Now here's, here's what's interesting because I've had two X things derail me in, in my in my path up to today, I would say up to today, 2X is derailed, meaning it's come and it's pushed me away from. I'm aware of that. And I've, I'm making a decision as I'm preparing these podcasts and, and really thinking over what the accomplishment really is, becoming more aware of the things around me, the things that I'm doing and how I can change, how I'm in control of changing my life and how every day stacks on each other. Every day stacks on each other. And because every day stacks on each other, I don't want a day to go by where I don't stack some wins. So 
when we look at this three to five year objective and then we say we want to bring that into the 90 days, it's going to feel impossible. It's going to feel impossible. It's going to feel like it doesn't even make any sense. Here's what's what was interesting yesterday, day before yesterday. Um, at, yeah, it was Monday. On Monday, the 30th, me and my partner, we talked about we talked about reconfiguring. But when we looked at the numbers, it looked so much easier. The numbers was was a lot smaller. It if the lifting of the objective felt a lot simpler once we put the right frame around it. See how we frame where it is that we're going. Frame is like perspective. How we frame it is going to really help us to focus because the frame is what we ultimately have to focus on. And as we are focused on the frame, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to start feeling fit. I want to bring back, I want to bring back fitness, right? Because it's the quality of being suitable to fulfill a particular role or task. So when we think about the role or the task or the objective or the goal that we're looking to fulfill, being we got to be fit for it, right? So when we think about the frame and then we focus on the frame, it's it's being fit for the frame, making like, like really looking at ourselves as, I got to be fit. So it means every day, this isn't like, this, this isn't like you got to wait in order to be fit. Like, you know how you got to lose the fat. I, I won't know if it's working until I lose the fat. No, no, no. This isn't that. This is every day. What is the mindset of the person who is fit in this area? I'm going to use this mindset. And this is the last analogy I'm going to use when it comes to using this mindset. I want everybody to go find, go find the actor, the actor that you most love. I'm going to tell you who mine is, Denzel. Denzel Washington, that's my guy. I'm, I'm going to act as if I'm a Denzel Washington character, right? Cool as a mug, you know, Denzel, you know, I mean, he's done some, he's done a lot of movies. And I think I turned on the TV on, on, on Sunday the 29th. No, was it Sunday twenty nine? Yeah, Sunday twenty nine, and I don't. I, and I just turned on. I saw a movie. I never. It was like Two Guns was the name of the movie. Him and Mark Wahlberg. I was like, I didn't. I didn't know it. I didn't, I'd never seen the movie. Now I didn't. Get, I actually didn't get a chance to watch all the movie, but I watched some of it. But he's in the movie. He's playing a different character. He's playing. I think he was like a DEA agent. He got involved with. He got involved with. Um, you know, robbing a bank. And the guy, you know, Mark Wahlberg is a guy who's in the army, but Mark is being being led to rob this bank, but they're stealing from some some really, 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 really bad people. And so that was the that was the move. But Denzel, the Denzel-like character, to take on the mindset of a Denzel-like character means that there's nothing I can't do. There's no like when I think about all the characters, I'm actually gonna research this. I'm gonna research all the movies Denzel Washington has done. That's that's actually an assignment. Research Denzel Washington. I'm gonna research all the movies Denzel Washington has done in his career. And I'm gonna make an analysis of all these characters. It may take me, it may take me a month to do that, right? I may even have to watch some movies. So this is this would be fun, right? You know, so when you think about the character that you want to play, go research them. This is one of the, this is one of the things that I've probably had trouble with going deep on something. So we're going to go deep. So we're going to go deep on this. I'm, I'm going to go deep on Denzel. I'm going to find out more about his story his, and more about all these roles and see what I can find out about Denzel that I didn't know. And really, really look at that as not that I want to be like Denzel Washington. I want to take on the mind of a person that can act as if they know it was true. And when you watch the movies, you can't tell me I'm persuaded that he's the person in the movie. So our 10x jump, let's look at the foundation of the 10x jump is frame. 
the frame of how we see it, the focus we put behind it, and the being fit, being suitable for the job. We have to be fit for this job, which means that every day we are working on, okay, if this is how a person is supposed to act, this is how I'm acting today. And we gotta, we have to monitor ourselves against the idea. Did I act this way today? What what changed? What what was it that derailed me? You know, what are things that I did today that actually wasn't in the mindset or what wasn't the person that I'm actually looking at? Throw one last one in. I'm not gonna talk long about it. I just want to throw this one in. Have you ever said you wanted to have the mind of Christ? Have you ever said that? Have you ever said you wanted to be like Christ? Yeshua. Yeshua. You want to be like Yeshua? That's his name, right? That's his real name. And so you can also say, let me go research Yeshua. We don't have to do Denzel. But Denzel, somebody, Denzel, we can find out way more than Yeshua because they only gave us a little bit on Yeshua. So, but still, what if I can mesh who Yeshua is with this capability that a person like Denzel has right here, right now? A 10x jump is it guaranteed. I don't know. I don't know. What would you want? Do you want it? I want it. So look, we know 2X is harder. You've experienced 2X in your life right now. Three to five year objective goal, 90 days. You ready? All right, guys, I want to thank you for joining me for another episode of the Account for Life podcast. This is Jamie with a Healthy Accountant, helping you to account for your life. God bless, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. This has been the Account for Your Life podcast with your host, the healthy accountant himself, Jay Moore. Until next time, make it a great day.